Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the limit of this function as x approaches 0. So whenever you're taking a limit, you should always just take this number here and plug it in for your x's to see what happens. So if you plug in uh, x equals 0 in the numerator, you just get 0. And if you do it on the bottom, you get the arctan of 10 times 0, so the arctan of 0. So you just get 0 over well, the arctan of 0 is 0, so you get 0 over 0. So this is good, because this is one of the indeterminate forms that allows us to use L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital says that whenever you have 0 over 0, or something like infinity over infinity, you can take the derivative of each piece. So let's do that. Let's apply L'Hopital's rule. So we still have the limit sign. Really important to write that down. And the derivative of x is 1 over, now we have to take the derivative of the arctangent of 10x. So recall, if you just have arctan, so if you do ddx of arctan, like without the 10, it's very similar. You just get 1 over 1 plus x squared. That's if it's just arctan. Here it's arctan of 10x, so it'll be 1 over 1 plus and then it's 10x squared, right? It's that whole piece on the inside squared. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the inside function here is 10x, and so its derivative is 10, and then you have the parentheses here. Okay, so again, we plugged in zero, we got zero over zero, and that allows us to use something called L'Hopital's rule, which basically means we can take the derivative of each piece. The derivative of x is one, the derivative of the bottom piece is here. Okay, let's keep going. I think at this point we can just plug in zero, so let's do that. So when you're plugging in the numbers, that's when you stop writing the limit sign. So we drop the limit sign and we have one over, this will be one over one plus zero squared and then times 10. This is equal to one over, well this is just one, right? So it's 10 times one, so it's just 10. So the answer is one over 10. This is a really nice problem because um, it's not as like it's not super easy, it's not super hard, and it's just a good example of uh, L'Hopital's rule. So I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is trying to learn some calculus. Good luck.